Ay, terrible mino. Hi guys, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but today in this video, I wanted to celebrate the fact that we turn, we turn 200,000 subscribers i always i have no idea what to say followers or subscribers anyway we're 200,000, which is a lot if you ask me and i was reading your comments from a couple of videos ago in which i asked you for suggestions on what we should do today i wrote them all of them down and i am going to do my best to do all of your recommendations guys today uh, and tomorrow but in one video um, some of you suggested that I should share the music that I listen so if you go to the description box you will find you will find a playlist of all of my favorite songs or like songs that put me in a good mood uh, or songs that I would love to I don't know run or go out for a walk or draw so make sure to check that out that's one of like the check of my checklists also some of you guys suggested that I should take one week off which i already did so thank you and um one of you suggested that i should eat cake and that's exactly what we're going to do right now i googled some cake vegan cake places here in new york and we're going to go together right now i'm going to be a very adult person and instead of having lunch i'm going to have cake uh, but yeah so let's go out and draw and eat cake together yay Monday today oh I'm really nervous because um, I want to do the let's draw something part of the video did I say that correctly anyway and um, I asked my patrons for suggestions of what to draw because I was really not confused but uh, overwhelmed by ideas in my own mind like should I redraw an all let's draw something or should I do something else blah blah and I asked them for suggestions and most of them suggested um, New York scenes because now since I'm living in New York uh, they were all they know uh, this is the thing they know what my struggle is and what the things I need to work on by the way thank you so much patrons for keeping me accountable on my flaws and I seriously need to work on scenery guys because I don't know if you can hear the rain uh, because I am really bad at drawing scenery I never draw background at all something that I really avoid doing because it's something that I'm struggle I struggle a lot with so I tend to avoid drawing backgrounds or scenery in general and the other day I was going through I think I was walking down I was at the subway station and the view of the subway station was really really pretty and I took some pictures of the buildings around the subway station because it was above the ground and I think I am going to do something with that scenery plus they also suggested me 
what is the name of that? The character of the Norse mythology, Freyja, Freyja, I have no idea how to pronounce her name, but apparently is a goddess associated with love, sex, and beauty, and fertility, and gold, and apparently it's a freaking badass goddess because it has like a lot of cats, and she's awesome. So I'm going to take her as a character in the scene. Uh, the other day I was on the subway. Let me show you this really quickly. Show you this. Um, so wait a second. Okay, so um, I was on the subway and I started drawing some ideas and I want... So sorry about the light, by the way. But I want to draw something like this. So she is going to be looking outside sort of like she just moved to this flat and there's going to be a couple of buildings surrounding her and this is her and um, the perspective is going to be something like that like the composition i also drew carrie bradshaw because why not why not <laughs> this is the thing guys i'm genuinely scared about doing this because for an opportunity like this for a let's draw something um, I would rather do something more on my comfortable side, but you know that I always risk things on let's draw something uh, videos. So this is going to be my out of my comfort zone illustration for you. And while I draw, I'm going to answer some of your questions. So let's do this. First question is from Fialovanna. Hi, Fialovanna. <laughs> she says, or he, I have no idea. Congratulations so much. Thank you, baby. I insist that you rest as well. I already did, but thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, the question is, any tips on battling crippling perfectionism and dependency on approval from others when judging your own art? Um, this question, I just noticed, it received a lot of votes. <laughs> And this is the thing, guys. I think, well, I struggle with the same issue, uh, Fialovana, as well. And I think it's normal to understand that we all do suffer in some way from a case of perfectionism. And we all do wanna be approved by our, our peers or our family members or friends. I guess it's a problem when it's um, making you not progress or not uh, do what you love. Perfectionism, I've, I, I just read a book, Finished, called Finished, and I generally, like, I really, really recommended you, uh, recommend you this book because the author talks a lot about how perfectionism shows itself like a way of not wanting to do something because you wanted to do so perfectly that you're scared of just beginning, or the idea that you spend lots of time just um, and just like painful uh, time uh, making it as perfect as your standards tell you that that thing has to be and in the end it's just like I try to ask myself is this really an improve to what I'm doing for example if I just spend like a million hours working on a single miserable detail I guess he's here with us I don't know if you can hear him um, Am I, is this, is this thing that I'm working so hard on really improving what I want to do? Or is this just me being picky and anal and just wanted to do it because it, it's just pleasing myself? Um, that's the thing with perfectionism that I've tried to just not pay too much attention to it as well as the approval from others. I mean, I guess it's normal nowadays with the social media thing, but I just try to ask the question of, who am I making happy with this? I want you to make you guys happy. And this is the thing that I enjoy the most. So as long as you're aligned with why are you doing this really, you need to be super honest and frank about why are you doing this, for whom you're doing this. And just like be true to yourself, uh, to everything that you do. And yeah, that's I think the most 
valuable um, answer I can give you right now. But it's like a half. Um, it's it's something that I'm struggling right now. So I'm so sorry if it's not it's not the answer you're expecting, Fiorana. Thank you so much for your question, by the way, Fiorana. Uh, Caroline Draper asks, what are some tips of feeling unsatisfied with your work, especially when I see amazing artists on social media? I can't help but compare myself. Oh, baby, welcome to my world. <laughs> I guess the feeling of unsatisfaction in relation to your work, it goes hand in hand with um, if you're checking yourself you know, on a regular basis. Every time I feel like I'm having uh, struggles with the imposter syndrome, which is very similar to feeling unsatisfied with your work. I tend to have a list of all the things that I need to work on. Um, for example, like I already said, I am very bad at drawing uh, and drawing and painting backgrounds, guys. If I can avoid doing it, I'm, I'm going to do it because it's way out of my comfort, comfort zone. Um, but mainly when I'm feeling unsatisfied with what I do or like I, I feel I have so many things to improve, it's nice to have a list and to check yourself if you're tickling the boxes, so to speak, on your work. It's easy to um, compare yourself with other artists on social media because we only, it's like what everybody says on social media, like you only see the highlights and you only see um, like the good side of being an artist but every artist struggle believe me every everybody does and i guess uh every time i compare myself to another artist i try to be really specific about why am i comparing myself to this person is it because uh she or he is making the face uh, facial expressions way more detailed than i'm doing them or is it because the body language is much stronger in their case than in mine so i try to be very specific about why am i comparing myself and usually when i compare myself it's it's uh, it goes hand in hand with the things that i need to improve so as long as you're conscious of the things that you need to work on i'm sure that every time you will compare yourself with other people you know exactly that those things are exactly the ones that the things that you're comparing yourself with uh or two anyway um i'm i hope it made sense caroline <laughs> okay guys i'm at that point in which i think there's nothing else to paint am i on focus it's okay um if i can be honest guys i don't like this illustration at all um it's okay because it's my first uh, painting uh, like a large scale painting not only painting buildings but also with gouache as you guys know i have a rocky past with gouache and i'm still getting used to the technique especially with this is the thing guys i love gouache but i i still have no idea what the colors are going to look like once they get dry and so far it's so hard to tell what is going to get darker and what is going to get lighter once it's dry so there's so many details that I'm like, they look fine, but since they're too dark, like those freaking bricks, like I like the idea of the bricks, but they're too dark. And some of the shadows, they, they were supposed to be much lighter than they actually look on the illustration. So I'm like, I, I really can't do this, this illustration again because I've been working on this bastard for like the, the whole day. It's now, Jesus, how? It's, it's going to be four o'clock. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue doing my best job work. And um, even if this is set um, as an example to my future self to keep practicing, I love showing you guys when things don't go as planned, even, is, even though it's really embarrassing to me because I want to impress you guys. I, 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 I love sharing my mistakes or where things go wrong or it's not a bad illustration, it's just that I, I had higher expectations. Um, so I'm going to continue working and I'm going to check in again with you guys once it's done. Uh, Haritha, uh, I have no idea how do you pronounce your name, maybe I'm sorry. Congrats, friend. Thank you, baby. 
I've been watching you since the beginning of Berlin, Jesus Christ, that was a very long time ago. And your art style has changed, has really found itself. How and why would you say your style has changed? So, as you guys noticed, like if you go a couple of years before, like on the videos, you have noticed that my style, even though it remains similar in some cases, it has changed. And I love change. It's something that I, I, I strive in my work because I want to evolve as an illustrator. And mainly all the things that I complained the most about my style was uh, facial expressions. Um, I remember all of my characters look alike some way, in some way, in some capacity. And I used to hate that about my uh, characters. Or like the facial expression wasn't working, like I had like three facial expressions that I really know how to do but um, and for example all of the body types on my illustrations they all look the same so I try to if you can see those were the, the first things to go um, and then I guess I started just like drawing a lot I wanted to change guys because I was constantly facing and dealing with the things that I was doing wrong and I'm not saying this like on a like a victim like oh my god I'm doing everything wrong I suck like I could see some talent in, in what I was doing but I really needed to work on some flaws and some things so um, when I was looking again all of the people that I admired uh, all of the illustrators that I admire if, if you want to I can put a list on the description box of all the illustrators I, I really love all of them had all of those things that I really wanted to like characters that are different but they have a, a same style or the facial expressions were really really awesome or the perspective work was amazing or they did uh, beautifully um, work in relation to the backgrounds or like um, uh, just like backgrounds in general, they were awesome. So I think my illustration style has changed because I forced myself to and I, I knew that the only way of doing the type of work that I really want to do, which is graphic novels, was to evolve and that was the thing. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for your question. Jail Jang, <laughs> congratulations, thank you baby. Um, question, current artists that inspire you, also do you have a music playlist that you su can suggest to us or music that you can listen while working on illustrations? Thank you. Okay, baby, I'm going to leave in the description box all the illustrators that I am really into right now because I can't think of any like a specific name right now. Also, I don't know if I guys, uh, I told you this, but a couple of months ago I started this project of, because I realized I have I have no music taste. I mean, I, I do love like indie music, but I didn't realize that I knew any like nothing about music. So I told my patrons and they have been following this challenge as well. I wanted to listen all the 500 albums to listen before you die of the Rolling Stone magazine website. And there are 500 albums, like the most important, like they say that they are the most important 500 albums to listen and so far it's been a really really nice experience so every time i am painting or drawing i am listening to that playlist and it's been really interesting because i've discovered so many artists and now i know a little a little bit more about history believe me i know nothing of, of music like about music yet but it's been really really interesting um if you guys want to do a challenge with me that would be really really cool um, thank you, Jill, for your question. Uh, Bookworm says, yes, it's kind of a silly one, but what brand is the blue nail polish you often wear? It's like an electric blue. It's the same dark blue you use in your palette. I love that you noticed that, baby. I'm going to also leave all of my, I mean, not of all, I think I have like five nail polishes, but I'm going to leave them down below in case you wanna check them out because I don't have it here with me. Um, Luria or Lurea says, yes, friend, yes, <laughs> queen, <laughs> congratulations. My question, I guess, will be, what were you like in high school, younger years? Do you think you, you've been changed a lot since then? Oh yeah, baby, I've changed a lot. So when I was in high school, I was really, you guys, really shy. 
I remember when I was about 13, I was really out there. I loved making uh, my friends laugh and I was really, I loved being center of attention. I just, I enjoy being like a group leader and I have lots of, lots of friends. And then my parents got divorced and I moved to a new city and uh, I went to a new high school and I remember I got like bullied a lot because I loved anime and stuff like that and I guess it was traumatic in the sense that I become a really really shy person after that so I was 14, 13 back then and since and from 14, 13 till 18 I was like really really shy and it was in a university where I was reborn so to speak and i'm like oh my god this experience in college was horrible now i'm going to try to find and rediscover myself again thank you for your question baby um and last but not least oh love crafting do you produce the videos by yourself or do you have help uh i do everything myself <laughs> ed used to help me uh, with the editing of the videos a couple of months ago, but now since he's studying, I am doing everything again myself. Um, I hope you're enjoying the editing, by the way. <laughs> oh, hi guys. Um, I was just editing the video as always. Uh, congratulations if you made it this far, by the way. And I noticed that there's a lot of questions regarding online shop. So for those of you who have an online shop and they're struggling, um, I answered some of those questions in the Q&A, but I realized the video was already too long. So if you don't mind, I'm going to use your questions for upcoming videos so I can answer them, like all of them, or at least uh, the majority of them in upcoming videos, uh, if that's okay with you guys. Uh, thank you so much for celebrating the 200,000 subscribers with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much to my patrons because they allow me to film these videos and buy art supplies and practice and buy books and stuff. So thank you so much for making me keeping me company. God, I always say making me, keeping me company all this time, patrons. I really appreciate your help and support. And yeah, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful Friday and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.